Let's go back to getting this thing mixed up and not stirred. Because, well, stirred's for pussies. Who would want to do a bunch of challenges that are re-stirred? That sounds dumb. At least you ask me. Also, I fell. Let me do that again. Oh, God. Backwards, brothers. I remember this crap. Ah. Oh, well. I'll get the hang of it. Whoa! That was weird. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, to more of Ultimate NES Remix, and I died. This is your host, the MJ406, and, well, we're continuing our way through the actual remix challenges of Ultimate NES Remix, which seemed to be a combo of everything from NES Remix 1 and NES Remix 2, including stuff that involves some games that weren't in the package at all, like Wario's Woods. God, I hate Wario's Woods. If you guys don't understand why, just know, ow, I have enough reasons to hate it. That puzzle game will always be in my deepest of nightmares. Mm. It's not a bad game, it's just not a puzzle game I personally like. Just, ugh. Wario's Woods, ugh. Every time I think about doing the challenges from that game in this, I die a little inside. They were not fun for me. At all. WHY DID YOU TAKE THE PLATFORM YOU COULD HAVE HAD IT, YOU MORON?! See, now I'm distracting myself thinking about it. I mean, Wario's so sexy. Okay, that I deserve for saying that. You dumbass. Sorry. And there we it is. Ha ha ha! See, it's not that I suck right through this backwards or in the dark or anything. It's that I suck at Mario games, period. Mm hmm. It really isn't that I suck at running through these, whether in reverse or running in the dark or something like being forced to run no matter what. It's that I suck at these, period. Never forget that. Like I, ow! Like I claimed, I've never been that great at Super Mario Bros. games. Never forget that. I have said that. Only three I had somewhat confidence in. The rest? Mm-mm-mm. Nope. Nope. There's the ones where I get messy. Like, what? Well, we spent, like, nearly three minutes on this already. I haven't even passed once. I keep dying of stupid bullshit! All right, I'm time warping now. <laughs> it doesn't even matter how many times I practice this Mario game. I'm never going to figure it out. I've yet to at this point, so why would I now? That's my curse. As much as I love the other Mario games, as much as... Thank you. As much as I practice, I'm never gonna get good at this one. All the other Mario games, I'm fine with. 3D ones, I'm like a master of. Well, I wouldn't say that, but I'm very good at the 3D Mario games, pretty much. And well, 2D ones, pretty much after the NES era, or like at the end of the NES era. Are you kidding me? I pretty much figured it out, so... Boy Mario 3, I can do better than this garbage. Oh. Stop sliding. There we go. Yes. Look at you go, Luigi. See, it's all you have to do. Just be patient. Stop being a freaking dumbass. Oh, look at you. Yes, yes, yes. You're not being a dumbass. Hurry. Hurry. Yeah. You did it, my great brother. <sighs> I mean, I can do it well enough. It's just, yeah. I can do better, certainly. We always have all those challenges now. Or no bonus is going to be. That's what I'm most concerned about. Oh, God. Oh, God, he's going auto turbo. Oh, jeez. I can barely see the rest of it. Oh, no. Why do they think doing Auto Turbo was a good idea? Why? They didn't custom make this track, did they? I hope not. Oh, this feels like a track they could have actually made in the game. Maybe they did. They decided to give it a snow aesthetic instead of an ah, dirt aesthetic. No! I almost made it! Well, let me try again. Ugh. Automatic Turbo, ah. 
Who is the crazy one who thought of this? Who is the crazy one that hates motorcycles so much that they want him to die? Who, I ask you? Who? Eh, maybe it doesn't matter. Just maybe it doesn't matter that much. Let's go with that. All right, the next one's at the bottom. I'll keep that in mind. Gotcha. No! I didn't realize it would be right there. Oh, let me just see where the end of this is. Just so I get an idea. Oh my god. You have to do perfectly just to get through the freaking thing! Oh my god! So yeah, how you like this racetrack, huh? Having to friggin' be able to maneuver perfectly. They make every little section harder. They might have custom made this one for this game, looking at how it's formed. Cause someone would make me doubt there's an actual track in the game if it's like this. Maybe it's just me being hopeful they wouldn't torture their NES users back in the day like that. Then again, I should know better. It's the NES. They like torture like this. Or at least some would like you have you believe they like getting tortured like this. Oh, come on! Oh, that was close. That was the next one, very bottom, right? Yep. I made it, you bitch! Ah! Ha 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 ha! Oh, God! Seriously, who thought that was a good idea? And I didn't even get rainbow stars because I screwed up the ramp portion. Oh, my God. This one sucks. All right. We'll give us another shot, and then I'll time warp if I don't get rainbow. Dude. This challenge is just mean. I highly doubt you can get two stars unless you get into the very last second. And, well, yeah, this is just cruel, man. Like, for real with this? Who thought this needed to happen? Why? Why you trying to prove your snow riding skills? Why? You didn't have to do this, Excite Bike guy. Things would have been just fine. Ah, there we go. That was what I did wrong. I tried to land on the wrong part of the ramp, but... You are not ruining this for me. Not today. Not today! I hope that worked out. Because yikes, that was torture. Oh, thank God. So yeah, don't go riding around the snow like that. It's deadly and dangerous. Oh, this is a fun challenge. <laughs> this is fun. If you can do it right. Instead of being a dumbass like me. So here's a fun one. Rescuing Mario. Again. Seems like standard fare like last time. You were Luigi. Oh, that was close. Oh, take a thought back to start. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? So yeah, you go to the top and then you go work your way back to the bottom. It's a weird state of affairs, but, well, that's what we're dealing with here in, in Donkey Kong. What the hell, brother? Are you kidding me? Get back here! He's going to beat the shit out of me! He saw my whip! He's going to whip me with it! That's what you get, Jumpman! That's what you get. Ah, uh, That's a nice, fun one. And here's a nice, cheerful one. It's Snowy Super Mario Brothers! Ah, uh, look at it. It's nice and icy. Oh, I was about to say there's not even a lack two in sight. I found them. But yep, they do give you ice physics for this level, so... Get jumping, and make sure you do not stop running. Eh, that might be Rainbow Stars, the first try, which would be amazing, because I haven't gotten that in a while. Yeah! So that's a nice simple one. They just throw ice physics. But as long as you normally run at full speed anyway, it's not a problem. So, just hope they don't screw you over on the stairs. Uh-oh, I don't like whatever that one is. That's a Lost Levels one. I don't like it. Anyway, let's see if we get to the end of this first remix pack. Let's beat five spinies. 
Oh, crap. Ow! I screwed up my jump, so let me try it again. You dumbass! Ah! Oh, almost had it. You stop doing that! So, yep. Controlling two characters at once that are actually there. That makes us a bit of a nightmare. All right, then. See what you like this, huh? I'll force you all to... And I flipped it back over like an idiot. I'll remember that for next time. Keep it on the second, brother. Because that was my downfall. You asshole! Maybe they'll give it to me? By the way, I think that's the Mario Brothers 3 versus thing they have. It's normally more on Luigi when you, uh... Go to the same level that your, um, other co-op companion is on. You basically compete for the right to, uh, take the next turn, I guess. I got an idea. Let's do the same exact strategy, but mirror it instead. There we go. So yeah, they had a little minigame like that Mario 3. There was also the versus mode, if I recall. Unless that was just an all-stars. An all-star Mario Brothers 3 thing. But yeah, that mode's fun. It plays better than the original Mario Brothers Arcade does. Kirby can exhale. Gets to the exit without being hit. Oh, jeez. Oh, great. It's Kirby needing to go on a diet. Ah, oh, they have the Kirby's Dreamland aesthetic. By which I mean Kirby's, uh... Ow! Kirby's Game Boy outing. Ah, good old Kirby's Dreamland. I'm so fat! I can't dodge much of anything. I gotta lose this weight and fast. Everyone's depending on me for the big race tomorrow. I can't let them know. Like, ow! Go for speed. This one is always a nightmare. When you can't fly in a Kirby game, it's actually pretty hard. That's why a lot of people like the idea in Kirby games of doing what they call the uh, a no flight challenge. And I did that again like an idiot. The same way. But basically, if you can't figure out the idea by now, it's running you through all the platforming and stuff in a Kirby game without flying. It sounds rough at first, but if you think about it, it's actually not that complicated. It's just learning to jump like a normal, like treating it like a normal platformer. Just do normal jumps and don't worry about if you can make it up to somewhere through flight or not. And powers could usually get you up to places anyway, even without the flight power, so... Ah! Oh! Get me in there! Oh! That was frightening. <coughs> My throat got a little dirty there for some reason. And of course I didn't get rainbow stars! Gosh darn you! Time warp! I just want to get this done with quickly now. I'm getting a little tired of all this. I just want my companions to finish their missions appropriately, god damn it. And I died. <laughs> finish the mission appropriately! Come on, soldier! You gotta lose that weight or we're gonna have to whip it out of you! Hurry up and move it, soldier! Move it, move it, move it! That's what you get. <laughs> Yikes. How do you have time going through this, man? Just double tapping the dash can be inconvenient. I have to time it around certain obstacles and crap. Ah, uh, run! That's better. But is it perfect? I have to wonder. Your answer is... Yes! Huh, thank God. <laughs> Good job, soldier! Now eat a cookie! Yay? Oh no, get to the goal, Paul. I think I know this one. Oh, no, this is different from what I'm thinking. Oh, right, this one. I remember now. So, yeah. Hopefully you memorize the level layout. Because this one decides to flash it. Good luck remembering how the level's laid out. This one's a dick. I expect you to memorize this shit, man. 
I mean, it does come back after a while, but still. It is a major asshole to do this at all. I must say. Why does somebody think it's fair to frickin' torture one like this? Why? You shouldn't be allowed to torture somebody with this kind of treatment. Playing a platform without being able to see where you're going. That's just cruel, man. Ugh. So yeah, here's a true test for Mario 1 speedrunners that go through the whole game instead of just skipping all the way to the end. Don't they kill the point of speedrunning? Shh, don't tell them that. They take it as a challenge to get to the end of the game as fast as possible. Don't make them have to go through every level. That's what we, my friends, refer to as a 100% speedrun. And I died again. All right, one more set of tries, and then we warp to my success. Through the power of time warping. Can I pull it off, though? Can I make it? The answer is clearly no. I got slower that time. Oh, God. Ow! Don't know why I thought that would work perfectly, but whatever. God, who turned out the lights? There aren't any lights out here, Mar. It's a dark sky anyway. I mean, I know it's normally supposed to be bright out, but you made the choice to go out at night for some reason, Mario. You think you're going to sneak a surprise attack on Bowser by going through at night? You're wrong. He's up at night, too. Dumbass. Let's time warp. Well, I know Bowser is an idiot, but I don't even think he would fall for this. You coming at nighttime, when he's probably coming out and taking the princess from you? Or the castle, rather? Not from you, like you would be able to have her at all. What the hell am I talking about? Oh, God! Okay, I'm good. But either way, I just... Bowser's smarter than that, right? If you came at nighttime, you wouldn't just be, like, sleeping away, and then you just take the princess, and he's like, Oh, God, no! Why did we get to lock the door? <laughs> you have to unlock the door for you to rescue the princess. That'd be so funny. Oh, God. Of course, that challenge would be the very last one. I notice it. Well, I'd be the challenge stage. Not that it means anything. I don't have friends, but whatever. Oh, yeah, speaking of Mario 2. Where's the princess? Tell me! Where's the princess? Oh, God, Toad, don't do this. Yeah, Toad's a fast runner, but a low jumper. Where's the princess? I'm gonna have to do that one again. <laughs> Toad. Toad's had enough of Bowser's shit, so he decided to go across all the Nintendo worlds. To stop Princess Peach from being kidnapped ever again. At the last time, Mario beat Bowser. Where's the princess? Where's the princess? Tell me! Where's the princess? Toad, could you not be such an idiot? Where is it? Oh my god, I can't do this! <laughs> I'm getting too distracted by my own foolish childishness. Good thing is I have hits because I'm Big Toad. Where's the princess? Toad, come on, man, learn to jump. Where is she? I hate you, Toad. Freaking learn to jump, please. Oh, this is awful. Where is she? Give her to me. God, there would be one Toad who would lose his mind and try this. He would just go everywhere. If there was one Toad would say it, he would just go everywhere, try to kill everybody who he thinks could ever kidnap the princess. This is a Toad Guard who's serious about his job. Give me back the princess! Isn't she already at the castle? Let him go. Let him go. We don't want him back at the castle. He might kill her. He's nuts. <laughs> He's absolutely bonkers. And here comes a challenge I hate. Red skies. That seems dangerous. I don't know why, but whatever. Ah! Bonsai Bill! Oh, God! So, yeah! Better learn to dodge! They got Al! That hurt. They got Bonsai Bills coming at you from across the screen. Don't jump into them or it's instant death. I mean, I know what you're thinking. It's instant death anyway. No, no, I mean, if you touch it at all, you will die. As in, you lose a life in NES Remix style. Not just Marbo style. 
You gotta know how to maneuver quickly and go in a way where the bonsai bills won't get to you like that. See? He didn't react to getting hit, but it was part of NES Remix, so it killed me. You gotta know the perfect way to run across this. What a pain in the ass challenge this one is. They do it at times they expect you to be able to dodge. Ah! Can I run under that? Let's try that again if I get there. But yep. Good old bonsai bills. Oh, come on. Stop running into the frickin' Goombas! They're Goombas, man. Come on. Just get around them normally. Bonsai! Jeez. These are the suicidal giant bullets. Why do we have suicidal bullets in this world? That's how they've always been, Mario. They try to crash into the thing, so they die. Well, that's just what happens when they don't hit you, apparently. Oh, so they do blow up when they hit you. Yeah. Do they have a mind of their own, I wonder? I mean, I guess they do. We have seen multiple games, mostly Mario parties, where bullet bills seem to have personalities. So I guess it's not too far-fetched for them to actually be sentient. They have something that can turn around, too. But are they nice guys in real life, I wonder? Let's time warp. Wait. Oh, God. I'd be afraid if they made a sentient bullet in real life. Imagine what kind of freaking AI bullshit could happen from AI gunfire. Oh, God. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> they just come out of the gun, stop in front of who they're supposed to shoot. They're like, no. I don't want to hit you. You seem like a nice guy. I know he fired me out of his gun and all, but you seem like a nice guy. There's no reason I should need to hit you. And I died again like an idiot. I almost have it now. That'll be so dumb. We've infused our bullets from our rifles with AI technology. So they can smart track our opponents. You mean yourself? <laughs> oh, wouldn't that be bad? If you had tried that and then they ended up turning around to come back at you? Oh, God. Why we give them tracking abilities? They oppose those that use guns, especially the ones that they are in. Oh, how dumb of you. All right, time for one last challenge for this episode. The end of Remix Pack 1. Descend use the parasol without taking damage. Oh, come on. Ow! Why I think I was smart? I don't know. I would just rather not... Worry about having to die. See, a parasol's fun. Is it... Please. That really threw me off. <laughs> huh. I think I should be dead now, but I don't know. You're one health, Kirby. Keep that in mind. Huh. I feel like that should hurt. Kirby, you're wasting my life. Let's try that again. And this time, stop bashing your brain in with the freaking spikes. Oh, those are spikes. God damn it, Kirby. They look sharp, but they look fun, too. Don't land on them! Oh, you're no fun. It shouldn't be fun, damn it. At least I made it down. Ooh, high-speed auto-scrolling. And Mario 3 with the friggin' raccoon tail while I'm at it? Oh. Come on, that's a godsend. Why did I try to whip a block for more coins? Oh, no! That's a close-up! I'm not ready for one of those! Besides, I'm a dude. I don't need a close-up. Oh, that was close. God, why the close-ups? Why do I think that's always a good idea? Oh, good. This is probably the one that caused the most trouble for me. Collect coins while you're doing the auto-runner style. Well, as long as you're smart with your jumps, it shouldn't be that bad. As long as you're smart with your jumps, it shouldn't be that bad! Come on, man! Ugh. This one should be easy to get the good time I need. Just try to get all the majority of coins that you can. It's played the same way every time, so you just need to be smart. There we go, that was all I needed. Bitch! Oh! Weird how that one worked, but whatever. Oh no! I 
give up! <laughs> I give up, Banzai! Spin an egg so I can kill you with it. There are three of me and one of you. What chance do you stand now, bitch? Makes you think you can beat me in your current condition. This isn't even my final form. You should see when there are five of me. You should see there are 128 of me. That was only a demo, Mario. You don't actually have that in a real game. Really? You can do like four or five of you in 3D world, but other than that, you can't do that much. But if I throw Luigi in there, Oh, God. I guess you could do eight of you in that regard. That'd be scary. Could you do eight? I'm not gonna think about it. Anyway, that is how we do. That's the end of the Remix Pack 1, thankfully. I don't have to go into that madness again. Thankfully, those ones have multiple challenges are a little more lenient on you. Because so many different styles, they want to give you a little more time in case you screw something up. Now we get to actual NES Remix 2 goodness. But again, Balloon Fight, Donkey Kong Jr., Zelda 1 are in here as well. And still more Punch-Out, apparently. So this is where the blend of the truly hardest of the NES Remix stuff will be coming in. Oh, boy. This is where the game gets hard. So come back next time if you want to see what kind of torture I'm in for when we go through Remix Pack 2. I don't know what hell waits. Well, I kind of do. I just hope it's not one of the ones from NES Remix 1 where go I have to go through a certain game that requires jumping without being able to jump, because that makes fucking sense, goddammit!